Sediment is rising, cost to borrow and days to cover is climbing. Not much downside risk to this play because AMC and Ape are both relatively very cheap now. It's come down so far from its peak last year. And it could be a good time to load up before the FOMO kicks in. If we dip again with the market before a big run, it might be time to take advantage. Let's talk about the bashing of CEO Adam Aaron quickly. So trolls have been bashing CEO Adam Aaron every post he makes. The never-ending web of connections between hedge funds, banks, and media. The blatant drop in price on good AMC news. The massive FTDs. The short interest, the synthetics, the stock is going to change Wall Street. We are going to change the world. So on this subject real quick. It really does seem like since AMC has been trading the way that it has been over the last month or so, it feels like anything that Adam Aaron says is just not good enough for the apes. And as a shareholder, I feel their pain. We want the stock to do good. The company is doing amazing. The news that is coming out day and day again is very bullish. So why can't the stock follow? Well, we know exactly why the stock is doing the things it is. But... We have to remember that bashing Adam Aaron as a CEO isn't going to make anything better. If you're a shareholder of AMC stock, you should look to support AMC and the CEO until further notice. Let's hope that in due time, all of the kinks will be ironed out. We shall see, won't we? Check this out, guys. It says Wall Street's top regulator is pursuing the biggest overhaul of 51 trillion U.S. stock market in two decades. First, he'll have to fend off a major industry resistance campaign. Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler, a former Goldman Sachs partner turned progressive icon, is set to launch a regulatory broadside in the coming weeks against brokerages and trading giants including Charles Schwab, Robinhood, GOP, Megadonor, Ken Griffin, Citadel Securities. According to interviews with more than a dozen executive lawmakers, regulators, and investor advocates. So although there is a lot of talk right now that there is going to be a major overhaul coming soon, I really can't blame most of the apes for being sort of pessimistic about this whole thing. Because at this point, so many things like this have happened. So many promising situations where real change seemed like it was right around the corner, but yet we're still sitting in the same position that we've always been. 